Hi folks and welcome to Connex 8. In this tutorial we'll be looking at uh, an elliptical question again and the circles in contact question. So let's take care of the elliptical question first. Now in this question as you can see from the setup you have the minor axis and the focal points but we don't have the major axis. We also have this point K out here which later on we'll put a tangent onto the ellipse from so it's a, a point outside this would be a new piece of learning. Okay so We'll start off and we'll uh, find the major axis first. Now, can you remember how we do that? Very good. So what you do is you put your compass here and set it to the distance there on the top of the minor axis. And we know that that distance from a focal point to the top of the minor axis is equal to half the major axis. Okay. So when you have that there, you might as well draw in your major circle. Just your compass, draw the minor circle, and we'll go through our standard procedure now of drawing an ellipse. So now with the ellipse drawn, we're now going to look at our new piece of learning, which is how to put a tangent onto an ellipse from a point outside. Well, to do that, you need your compass and there's two arcs we're going to swing. The first arc is with a radius K to F2 or the closest one to you. Okay, so we're going to swing a big arc there. The next arc you need is to swing from F1, but we need the radius is going to which is going to be the length of the major axis just move that onto f1 and now the two arcs meet at these points we'll call them s and t and what you'll do there is you'll join s and t back to f1 Now, when you do that, you'll find these two points. These are two points, so you could have a tangent on either side, whichever you want, want okay? Um, so I'm just gonna put on a, a tangent on the top here. Now remember, a tangent is a line that touches the ellipse, or this conic, at just one particular point on the curve, okay? And that is our tangent there. So swing the small arc, radius the big radius which is at the full major axis where the two cross gets you s and t join back to the far focal point and where the cross the curve uh, gives you a point there to put your tangent on from k you could also put another tangent on down here if you, if you wanted to okay now one will do though so we'll move on now to our guitar question okay now the basic setup done in this again okay um, and I've the kind of interest points that we'll be swinging the compass from marked in as well. So the handle is no problem to do. Okay, um, I came out 15 here. We're going to be swinging a radius 8 left and right. I came out 19 left and right, <coughs> excuse me. And I'm going to be swinging radius 13 down there. So we'll just put in the bottom of those in a moment. We might as well <coughs> finish out with the top first. So up at the top of the guitar, I have these points here. Okay, and we know there's an arc there, radius 24. Now, when you have two points on a curve, you can swing the radius, which is 24. So set your compass to radius 24. And where the two cross, we give you the point to put down your compass and draw in there. And always just check it first in case your compass ever moves, check it land on either side. And that's the top of your guitar. Down here then, uh, this one, we're gonna have radius eight here and a radius eight here. So I'll do those next. And we'll do them lightly at the moment. Okay. 
And then next here, down here, there's two to be swung, radius 13. Now, what we have to draw in then after that is this arc, okay, on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. And we know it's radius 40. So therefore, and we're going back to, I keep going back to this, which is the most important thing we learned uh, in, in relation to circles and contact, which is if you have two circles, no matter what size, the distance between them is the radius added. So if it's going to be radius 40 here, that means from this point here, which is an eight, eight millimeter radius circle. I must swing from here, I'm gonna swing one radius 48, okay? Now when you're setting these, you might as well swing them on both sides of the question, to save you re-measuring off all these again. So from here, radius 48, we're gonna swing an arc there. I'm gonna swing one over here on the left-hand side as well. And then we know then that this guy is also in contact with them. So he's radius 13. So 13 plus 40 is 53. So 53 is what I'll be swinging from here. Set your compass to 53, folks. And now you have the point on either side that we can set our compass. Now set it to radius 40 and it should hit both of those nicely. Okay, and always just check it first in case you're a millimeter off or so. Check it's gonna hit the both circles and then draw it in there. Okay, and we'll draw it in the right hand side. And again, if you ever wanted the point of contact, just join the centers up. That's how you'd find the point exactly where they touch, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this out heavy now. And that's that question finished out, folks. So I hope you found that useful. Take care, folks, and we'll talk to you soon.